Hi, my name is Moet and I'm going to be your instructor in this Collab tutorial. In this video, you are going to learn everything you need to get started programming in Collab. Before starting, please subscribe to the channel to watch all new upload videos and to have access to the high quality content ranging from deep learning tutorials to research topic talks. I will assume that you have no idea how to use Collab. There are plenty of development environments of Python and you can find easily tutorials in the internet or in YouTube, but I highly recommend you to use Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so I will do a quick um, demonstration of using Jupyter Notebook. So I will just write Jupyter Notebook on the terminal and then co copy paste this link and open it in a browser can choose the one that you want so basically this is how it looks so I have already created a Jupyter notebook if you want to create a new one just click on you and then Python 3 so this is how it looks so you see that it's an open source it's an open source web application that allows you to create code and text for example I can wrote tutorial and this is very um, pedagogical in a way that you can explain if so there are some mathematical uh, equations in your um, coding. And what makes it more incredibly flexible and interactive is the code written in independent cells, which can be executed individually. So this is very useful when you are performing end-to-end -end workflow and you need to check each block, the output and the visualize data in the environment and without executing all the cells step by step so for example this is just a basic and a simple um, example so i will just read uh, an image so maybe i should i should clear all my output okay Okay, so here I display my image. You see that from cell to cell, I uh, the, the memory is uh, maintained. So for example, I want to process this image and I see that uh, while reading it with CV2, it does not um, uh, maintain the order of uh, red, uh, green and blue. So I will, cha I will change this, one, this order to, um, to fix the... The quality of the image so this is how it looks we can uh, check the shape we can resize it and you see that all these operations can be applied for each cell without applying without executing all cells and once you have the code that is working perfectly then you can run all the code and all the cells in the same time now that i introduce you to jupyter notebook you will feel more comfortable now to use Collab. To say simple, Collab is just a Jupyter notebook environment that requires no setup to use and runs entirely in the cloud of Google. This is the first advantage of using Collab. No need to install any required libraries, just import them and no fear to deal with libraries, version dependencies, errors. Secondly, and it is very important, if you are going to use deep learning architecture, Collab supports free GPUs. In other words, no need to buy expensive GPUs to run your own code. It is available for free. Now let's see how to exploit Collab to run a code on our data. So to create a Collab notebook, there is uh, there are two options. Either you can create it uh, create it on your uh, Drive account by searching for Google Collaboratory. And then it will uh, open a um, Collab Notebook. And you need to save it in your drive. And you, you can check that uh, your Collab Notebook is created um, in Collab. So this one is untitled one. So you can find it here. I already created um, a one for this uh, tutorial, but Okay, so this was this was the this was the first option to create a, a collab. So it's inside the, the drive. You can also create it by searching 
collaboratesearch.google.com and you can just um, press on new notebook and here again it will open a notebook for you and you need just to save it in the drive and once uh, it is done you need just to go back to your collab notebook and you will find the, that it is saved there so remember this um, if you create a collab, for, uh, collab uh, notebook it will always be in case if you save it, you saved it it will always be inside the collab notebooks otherwise you can um, you can uh, take this uh, this uh, this uh, this file and then uh, move it to another folder if you want but basically it will be always here in the collab notebook okay so for this tutorial i already created um, created a um, collab notebook i will remove those two because i will not need them so let's see how it looks like um, a color file. Let me first just highlight the most accurate or important features in the toolbar um, and the, the ones that you may need to use. So the first one is uh, the choose of the uh, run uh, of the uh, hardware um, for your uh, uh, processing. So either a GPU or TPU. Uh, both uh, can uh, improve a lot your um, speed of um, running time uh, okay i always choose a gpu and it's more important if you are going to run some deep learning architectures or i would say also machine learning architectures but more deep learning architectures uh, the the most uh, the second important uh, feature is to uh, is to restart the runtime if you are for example not uh, satisfied by your training or by the output of your cells you can just restart the kernel and it will erase the saved memory so basically these two are the most important uh, features for me in the toolbar now that we saw this uh, let's move to the synchronization because since collab is working on your own Google Drive, you need to synchronize it with your um, drive to have the access to your data. So this, these two lines of codes will help you to synchronize your Collab Notebook uh, with your um, Drive account. You need just to follow this link, click on your account, allow, and then copy this, I would say link, and wait for the authorization. Okay, so now it is synchronized. You can check in the left that you have the access to all your data. And this is very important because I, I, I will show you uh, an example um, how to open an image uh, with, um, with Collab uh, synchronized with your drive. So just before um, I do this, I want to just show you that to run a cell, there is two options either just click on the play button or press um, shift uh, plus enter okay so in this example i i will i will um, just read and display an image so i will search for my image uh, here for example i want to um, read and display this image so i need just to copy past the path and that's all normally it will show the image and this is the case so you see that it is not uh, very um, difficult uh, either you have an image um, i don't know um, document excel files you can always open it from your collab all you need is just synchronize it with your drive and then search for the path of the folder or of the file and use it um, inside your code. Last point I will show you here is how to um, load a new data. This is in case um, if you don't know how to do it. So I will just uh, load the new data on my drive 
and um, and uh, see how to refresh the the synchronization to uh, read this new data so for example let's assume we will go back to the to the puppy let's assume i will use this uh, puppy image uh, inside my drive so okay so this is my drive i will put it in the collab introduction folder and i will go back to my to my code and then all i need is to go to my collab introduction and refresh okay let me go back to see if we see the the puppy image it 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 took uh, it will take some time not too much okay so here now the now we can see that uh, the um, the synchronization is updated and all we need is just to copy pass again the link press shift and enter and we we, we succeed at uh, displaying the image so you see this is not difficult uh, all you need is just some training and practice and that's all i hope that um, it was very clear for you in this tutorial and i covered all important points thank you for watching and see you in the next video